everybody. Are you curious about what other countries are doing with faster payments? Want to learn more about how QR codes can be used? Or maybe just looking for some ideas on use cases for faster payments? Well, then stay tuned. I recently recorded a podcast episode for the Payments Podium, that's the Payments Professor podcast, and the topic was Faster Payments in Bolivia. I had a gentleman on the podcast, Luciano Corrales, who's with Tessa Bees. They're a leading fintech organization in Bolivia. It was a great conversation and I learned a ton. Discussing electronic payments with someone from Bolivia was a joy, a true joy for me, and I hope for Luciano as well, as he gave some great perspectives. I told him about the US, he told me about Bolivia. He focuses on user experience, analyzes everything, even went as far as opening an account in every bank he could, just to test out and see how it works. See, Bolivia, they currently use an ACH system. It's very similar to what we have here in the US. But Bolivia is also working on the use of faster payments. One of the things I discovered during the call was how Bolivia is going to faster payments and making use of QR codes. Last May, the Association of Private Banks of Bolivia, well, they debuted what they called the Simple Platform. The Simple Platform, well, it's really simple and it's really cool as it authorizes Bolivian banks, businesses, and their citizens to be able to transfer funds between bank accounts just simply using QR codes. This means that everyone with a bank account and a smartphone can freely access their accounts and transfer funds, make purchases wherever and whenever they want. And all, all this without needing to use cash. Now, this is showing up mostly at the moment in the private banks in Bolivia, and they are working on implementing it as a digital tool and as a payment and collection system. What this means is that transactions can be made person to person and from a distance and very fast. This is a big move for Bolivia as simple is attempting or really working to eliminate some of the complexities of making payments via mobile devices. You know, there's always that issue of interoperability where programs need to be able to work together and we want to see everything work with other products and other programs. Well, that is the beauty of the QR codes because the QR codes are connected to an electronic funds transfer system among the Bolivian financial institutions. That's huge. And even better, it also helps to encourage greater confidence among the public and account holders who can administer their personal finances using the mobile device. Now, hopefully we won't have any unforeseen issues with this program that could eliminate friction in financial institutions and personal transactions. Barring any unforeseen issues, this program could eliminate friction in financial and personal transactions. The system's really cool too, and it's easy to use. See, when prompted, Simple will generate an encrypted code to ensure the validity of the payment or collection via those QR codes, and it helps to prevent fraud. Now, sources say and claim that this is to be a safe method since it doesn't require sharing bank account numbers or any other private information. I'd have to agree. And that is because the amount of the payment, the routing and the bank identification information, even the account number, well, they are in the QR code. So this helps, doesn't completely, but helps to eliminate the need for someone to know their routing or account number information, or to have to give that information to somebody else. You can have a open QR code where the amount gets entered, or you can have a closed QR code where the amount is fixed. It's already been set or preset. And it can also be set for a time duration, all within a simple QR code. Are there any limits on this, Professor? You know, that's a great question. And there are limits. Bolivians can send up to 5,000 in Bolivian currency, which is really only around $725 American, without any commissions using the mobile app. The system is available 24 hours a day and users receive immediate confirmation of their payment or collection. Now I do have to add an asterisk to the 24 hours availability. Availability actually works until 11 p.m., but from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., that's the window for settlement and processing to take place. 
but they're working to shorten that window. And a cool part of this process is that it only takes a matter of seconds to verify the authenticity of the transactions. D did you catch that? That's to verify the authenticity of the transactions. Verification like that is huge. Great to have, especially when it comes to detecting and stopping fraud. I also found out it's interesting that you can share QR codes by email, WhatsApp, not just within the banking app, but outside of it. The receiver can scan an image they receive and the bank account information is within the code that they've received. And they're also seeing, guess what? A lot of e-commerce codes being used. There's more, but you're gonna have to check out the Payments Podium podcast once it's available. That goes into much more depth in my conversation with Luciano on faster payments in Bolivia. You can find the Payments Podium wherever you listen to your podcast. But for now, if there is a topic you would like to have the Payments Professor address, or if there is someone you think should be on the Payments Podium, then message or email me, kevin at paymentsprofessor.com. If you have missed a video, well, then you can go to the YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Payments Professor. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, you need a full course on a payments related topic. Many courses are available on the paymentsprofessor.com website. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And for now, class dismissed. <laughs>